everybody, welcome to today's video. If you are new here, I'm Jamie B. Thanks for stopping by. If you are already subscribed, then welcome back. So in today's video, I am going to be explaining how you get monetized on YouTube and how I got monetized in less than a year and the steps required to get that done. So if you are interested in how to get monetized on YouTube, then go ahead and hit that subscribe button at the bottom of this video and we'll get right into it. All right, so first up, I do look a hot mess, but I am trying not to put any face makeup on at the moment because I'm having some serious texture issues going on. Um, I'm trying to figure out what it is or how I can fix it, so just bear with me. I will be doing, obviously, more makeup videos soon, but I'm trying to do as little at this moment as possible, but I will be back with that, and if not, I will be doing some makeup reviews product reviews, favorites, and all that, just until my face, sorry, my hair is a mess too, apparently today, just until my face decides that it wants to cooperate. Um, I might be going to see a dermatologist or an esthetician here soon as well. So let's get right into it. I do have my paper of notes here I wrote down because I wanted just to make sure that I gave you guys all of the information you could possibly need in getting your channel up and going and monetized here on YouTube. So the first thing that I wanna say is it is not easy and it is not usually a quick thing so that being said if one of your videos like say you just started your channel and one of your videos goes super super viral then yes of course that is like a once in a while kind of thing it can happen it has happened and you will obviously get monetized much faster however it's not usually the case and you're starting from scratch and you work up to obviously being monetized so on and so forth so basically don't be discouraged if it's moving slow because that's quite normal for most people um, I'm sure most of you know if you have a YouTube what the requirements are but I'm just gonna put that out there so you guys have it so you need 4,000 watched hours and a thousand subscribers in one year so anything outside of that 12 months YouTube will not count it and I know because I started my channel originally in 2015 and I stopped doing it and I ended up having like 130 subscribers and it was like 10,000 views but it wasn't a lot of watch time. I think it was like 121 hours of watch time, not even. So none of that counted though towards me being monetized within the year because it was outside of that 12 months. So I want to talk to you about things that you can do before being monetized. So basically you want to think macro and micro. Your macro goal is to get 4,000 watched hours. Your micro goal is going to be your subscribers because without subscribers you may not get as many views as quickly as you want to. However, you will still get views because YouTube will be showing your content to people who are not subscribed to you. But the things that I can honestly say that will help you get there quicker are going to be your thumbnails. They have to be popping because that's your click-through rate. Basically, YouTube pushes your content, and the more people that click on your video, the more that they push your content. So that's very important to know. You don't want to get just a still image of your video. You don't want to just have one that they automatically give you when you're uploading. And you want it to be clear. I'm not saying that you have to go out and buy a $3,000 camera by any means. Just use your phone, use the back part of it instead of the front because it gives you a clearer photo and have somebody set up some lighting of any kind. It really doesn't have to be studio lighting like I have. It can literally be just regular good lighting and it doesn't have to be where you're filming the video. So like for instance, I take my thumbnails here. However, it doesn't necessarily have to be here. As long as that thumbnail pops and gets attention, then it's a really, really good idea to do that. So if you guys are interested in how I film and how I edit and all of that stuff in my YouTube videos, then comment below and I will get that video up for you to let you know like the equipment that I use and all of that good stuff. Second is going to be your videos. So you want to make longer videos. I'm saying probably 10 plus minutes, if not more, before you're monetized. We'll get to after later but before you monetize because right now is kind of crazy as it sounds you want it to be quantity over quality so be a little less concerned with the quality of your videos i mean obviously don't put out trash put out good videos that you work hard on but worry about the qual the quantity of it not the quality the quantity of it the more videos the longer they are the more minutes you have a chance of getting people to watch in the more minutes you gain towards those hours. Again, it's 
thousand hours. That's a lot of hours if you don't go viral. But you also wanna be encouraging subscribers. So every time that I tell you guys in my intro, make sure you hit subscribe. And then like throughout the video, if you're not subscribed, go ahead and hit subscribe. So like for instance, right now, if you're not subscribed to my channel and you love to see product reviews, funny videos, and all that other stuff I have to offer, then go ahead and hit that subscribe button at the bottom of this video. It's that simple. Just saying it throughout your video, obviously do not say it 10 to 15 times because people are gonna be like, no bye. Um, but maybe drop it in the middle, drop it at the end, drop it at the beginning, whichever you prefer. I always encourage likes and all that because the more likes, it shows that the more interest your video has as well. Content, creating content. I cannot sit here and tell you upload five days a week make sure you're consistent because I really wasn't very consistent for a long time for a couple of months I had a lot of like issues and my pregnancy had a lot of like issues so for a while I kind of dropped off so I can't say that consistency is going to be key however it is a good thing to keep in mind so pick your schedule and do it commit to something that you can commit to if you cannot do five videos a week do not commit to five videos a week you don't have to start small and grow i mean honestly when i did a poll on my ig stories of how many videos my subscribers wanted to see between three and two honestly two one two videos three videos a week is perfectly fine if you want to do more that's fine, just make sure you're putting out good content. So don't just pop up videos just to get the watch time. Because the problem is that's actually gonna hurt you more than it's gonna help you. Because if people are coming to your channel and they're like, oh, this is a good video, and then you've got nothing but kind of just like fluff, um, it's not actual information or something that they can do with it, then it's kind of like, oh, well, I'm not interested anymore. And they either don't subscribe or they don't really watch your videos anymore. Another way that you can gain more subscribers are through like follow groups. I don't recommend them. I tried doing one or two and I really, really hated it. Um, at first the one was really small. There was like 15 people and I really enjoyed it because the women on there and I think it was just women at the time were really awesome and kind of like put ideas and you guys talked and all that but it became much bigger and I kind of just was like no I'm not really interested and then you have people complaining because people aren't watching their videos and they have all these people subscribe but the watch time isn't count isn't matching their viewers or I don't it just is too much so that is an option you can go that route however I encourage 100% to get your channel monetized and to get your channel where you want it to be, you should do it organically. Networking, sharing your stuff, go on YouTube, type in either a topic in your niche, type in a hashtag in your niche, and literally go through those videos, watch them, go to the comment section, type a good comment, like a good quality comment. Don't just type, hey guys, check out my channel, because nobody wants that. That is a terrible thing to do because you are now trying to grab attention from that creator and bring it to yourself, which I guess technically you're doing when you do it my way, but it's just a more respectful way of doing it. So put effort into your comments. So like if someone is talking about the Jaclyn Hill highlighter collection, get in there and really give your input if you have it, if you want it, just do a really really good detailed comment and the thing is if you do that often you're going you're socializing in your niche on youtube so people are going to start to see you they're going to go to your page because they like your comment even if they don't like your comment they're probably going to go to your page so they can start hating on you whatever it's views it's traffic to your channel the point of social media i think a lot of creators forget this is to be social on media um, so just make sure you're in the community in your niche really working to network yourself without being a nuisance don't do the hey if you subscribe I'll subscribe or hey I subscribe to your channel will you subscribe back to me because I will usually not subscribe back to you it's not that I don't want to support other artists I do or creators I do however if the only reason you subscribe to me so I would come back and subscribe to you then I'm not interested because you're not what I want here I don't just want subscribers and you shouldn't either I don't want to just get numbers numbers don't help me I want a community a family that trusts me they talk with me they enjoy me 
and we just have fun and we communicate, not just a bunch of random people who are only following me because of what they get in return. I'm just not, I'm not here for that. It's always an option. Obviously you don't have to take my advice, but I do really encourage organic growing. For your watch time, again, make longer videos in the beginning. Make sure you're looking at when you're uploading your videos, your tags, your title, your description and all that. If you guys want a video on a really, really good way to do your tags, title, description, and uploading your video, comment below and I will get a video up on how I do that and how I have gotten several different views and lots and lots of watch time from just properly learning how to upload a video correctly and what to add to really juice up someone finding my content. Um, so I did want to say I started December 3rd of 2018. I did three videos weekly. Um, I already had, so on top of the 4,000 watch hours and the 1,000 subscribers, you have to have a Google AdSense account. In 2018, I had gotten one before being monetized. However, I was looking at it today trying to figure out, like give you a step-by-step -step how to um, create it. But when I went there, you have to have like your own website or if you're doing YouTube, you have to already be monetized. If you're doing Blogspot or blogger.com, you have to already be qualified to do ads. It's really weird now. So before I would have told you, make sure you do your ads since ahead of time so you don't have to wait to be approved for that. However, that does not seem to be the case anymore. On YouTube, you do have to wait to be monetized and then you can go for your Google AdSense account. So after you meet your goals, and again, if you guys want a more detailed video on how to meet those goals, always comment below and I will get you the content out. Um, I just want to try to focus on the steps of being monetized and how I did it in less than a year. So I got monetized completely in nine months. I started in 2018, December 3rd of 2018. I got an email in August. So once you meet your goals, you get an email saying, hey, you're in review for monetization. Um, I've heard that some people take two days, some people take two weeks. Mine took like a month. I didn't think I was gonna be approved because I got the email in August and I did not get monetized completely until September. And I don't even remember getting an email saying, hey, you've been approved. I had a friend who had messaged me and said, hey, there's ads on your video. So I'm trying, like I couldn't find an email. I went searching today and I couldn't find the email. However, I do know that it was right around September of 2019 that I was approved and ads were added. Within nine months, I was able to grow my channel to a thousand subscribers. I think I'm at like 1,200 and something now. So it's really hasn't gone up that much since September. But again, like I said, I took quite a bit of time off and I am back and I'm doing my thing. Um, but I got to a thousand subscribers and 4,000 watched hours within nine months. It doesn't always happen like that. Sometimes if you're really lucky, it can happen way faster than that. And sometimes it can take years. I know I've seen videos where people talk about like being two plus years not being monetized. So if you're starting YouTube solely because of money, you might want to rethink that because it's probably not going to work out the way that you want it to because money just doesn't come. So after being monetized, um, you get different options. So you obviously get your ads, which bring revenue and you get super chats, which bring revenue. So super chats, I'm gonna talk about those. Basically you enable that and it allows people to pay to be at the top of your chats and you get money that way. I have that on, but I don't really get revenue from that. I know some people do, and probably bigger creators get a lot of revenue through that way because you got thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands of people watching. But my lives on Saturday don't really get that many people, so you can see everyone's comments and so can I, and that's fine. But that is an option when you get monetized. So after you get approved for monetization, let me go back. After you get approved for monetization, you have to do a Google AdSense. If you go into YouTube, into the settings and you type in for support Google AdSense, it will tell you step-by-step -step how to get an account through them once monetized. Then you have to get approved through them and that takes a little bit of time. And then I had to have an, like a pin sent to my home, which took a couple of weeks. Um, just basically verifying I am a person and not just like a bot or whatever. And then they verify your bank account information. So they definitely 
they definitely are very thorough on you know how they do the monetization however if you this is something you're really passionate about then it's definitely worth the wait so and then the pin the bank and then you fill out your tax forms obviously you want to fill out your tax forms so once you're monetized you have the option of doing your ads so you can do a couple different ads you have ads that come across the screen which you'll see down here usually and then you'll have obviously ads that do video ads across whether it be before in the middle or the end and then you also have ads that go on the side like of the videos where you see the recommended videos i usually don't see a lot of creators doing the side ads but that's always an option um I will say that once you're monetized, make your videos more than 10 minutes at least because here's the thing. If your video is less than 10 minutes, you cannot on YouTube add a ad break in the middle of your video. You get it in the beginning and or the end, maybe just the beginning. You can't put them in the middle basically. And obviously the more ads, the more money. You do not want to over consume your videos with ads. I hate when I click on a video and there you can see the ads. The yellow buttons across this bar down here are the ads. So if I click on your video and you have like six ads, I'm out automatically off the bat. I usually try to place one in the beginning and like two in the middle. I really don't do the end because funny enough, when I look at my analytics, a lot of people drop off by then obviously you're not going to have a hundred percent follow through on your videos you'll have an average watch time which can range anywhere from three minutes to ten minutes but most of the time it's not going to be the entire 30 or 25 minute video that you upload it's just the sad truth obviously the ads like i said you can choose in your uh, monetization which videos are monetized which ones are not um and again remember the longer the video, the more ads you can put in there. And guess what? I'm going to tell you a secret. The more ads you have, I can guarantee you the more YouTube is pushing your videos versus a person who has one ad. And let me tell you why. YouTube is slowly but surely consuming television. Period. We know it. It's happening. How many people... Do you know watch cable or watch YouTube over watching cable? My kids do not watch Cartoon Network. They do not watch the Disney Channel. They watch YouTube. They watch cartoons on YouTube. They watch unboxings on YouTube. They watch all those like kid channels on YouTube. It is slowly becoming the new TV. So the longer the videos, the more watch time. So that's good. The more ads, the more money you're making. And the more ads, the more money YouTube is making. So if YouTube is making more money, they're pushing your video a lot higher than someone who doesn't have ads. And I know that kind of sounds crappy because if you're not monetized and you don't have that chance, but you will get there, I promise. We touched base on ads and where you can place them. Google AdSense. So once you're monetized, you can do the option of doing more videos. Just say before monetization, you're only doing two videos. Then I would most definitely say once you're monetized, maybe do two videos in a live like I do, or do like three videos. I wouldn't overwhelm your channel by doing five. It's a very big commitment. So if you really have nothing else to do in your life, five videos a week is going to be simple for you. However, if you're like me and you're a mom and you work and all of that other exhausting stuff, five videos a week is hard. So just make sure whatever you dedicate to is what you stick to. I see a lot of people who do weekly videos where they're doing like five videos a week, Monday through Friday, but they're like five minutes long. You're not getting, you're getting 25 minutes of watch time. My average watch time right now, as of this afternoon, was almost seven minutes, okay? Seven minutes times two videos that I upload a week is 14. However, my lives get an average of three hours of watch time, three hours. So three hours and 14 minutes, I just did way more than your five minute videos are gonna get you. Try to make them longer because you're gonna have to work harder if you keep making short videos. And also to jump two lives, that gives you more watch time. It gives you a lot more watch time. So like I said, an hour long or hour and a half long, um, I think my last live was like an hour and 20 minutes, hour and a half. It gave me three hours of watch time three hours and I have like an average of five viewers. So make sure that you are doing lives if you can and you feel comfortable to do them. Also, 
upload your lives. So at the end of your live, you get an option of uploading it as a video. I do that. I make the same thumbnail every time so people know and I put it in a playlist for Saturday lives. They know, okay, that's her live videos from Saturday. And I get views on that. So on top of getting the watch time for the live, I'm also now getting views on it, which is being monetized. So there's so many different ways to get your watch time. You just really have to sit down and research it and put in the effort. And I promise you it's going to happen. It may not happen in nine months like it did for me. It may not happen in a year. It may not happen in four months like it does for some people. You are unique and it's going to be different for every person. Do not get discouraged. Keep going. If you love what you do, then it doesn't matter how long it takes. It's frustrating, but it doesn't matter. We've talked about the goals to reach 4,000, 1,000. We talked about how to reach those goals or good ways to reach those goals. We talked about what to do in the steps after you reach those goals. So review, approved, AdSense, pin, bank, tax form monetized, ready to go, place your ads, what kind of ads, and how many ads you should be doing. The next thing I want to talk about is going to be money. So I have been monetized since September of 2019. It is now January. I have made a whopping $51.80. And you want to know what? I am proud of every dollar that I have made. You do not get paid from YouTube until you reach $100. So just keep that in mind. So if you're looking at your Google AdSense and you're like, why have $60? Why is YouTube not paying me? It is because they will not pay you out until you reach the threshold of $100. So I'm over halfway there and I'm really excited. I just think that it takes some encouragement. It takes self-encouragement and it takes encouragement from other people who have been where you are. I promise you, it feels like a slow agonizing journey but i promise 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 i never thought in a million years that i would be monetized do i have thousands of subscribers no but i have reached a goal i gave myself literally two years to be monetized from december 3rd and in nine months i was monetized because i sat there and i said i'm going to be monetized within a year i'm going to get the things done that i want to i'm going to achieve my goals and i'm gonna keep growing i know that it's hard sometimes when you get discouraged but if you do not believe in manifestation of money and manifestation of your dreams that I really think you should look into it because I'm telling you it has changed everything in my life the way I look at things the way I handle things and literally I sat down and I said I'm not gonna stop until I get where I need to be and I'm getting there slowly but surely I am getting there I may only have 1200 subscribers and I absolutely love every single one of you and I'm so thankful for you because if it were not for you guys, I would not be doing something that I love to do. And I may not be getting paid hundreds of dollars to do it, but I am still having fun doing it. So just remember, I'm going to go ahead and link the steps, link the steps. I'm going to go ahead and put the steps and how to get monetized again for you guys in the description so you can have that. And just remember to focus micro versus macro. Don't focus on the bigger picture. So don't focus on the 4,000 hours right now. Focus on your content. Focus on your subscribers. Focus on networking. Get out there in YouTube and socialize with other creators, with their following. You're going to pick up so much of a following doing it that way. I really have. My biggest tip, biggest tip in growing your channel and getting people to your channel, and I've freaking promise you because it's worked. I have commented. I've had people respond to my comment and then literally within minutes have them subscribe to my channel. So I kid you not do this tactic and it will help you grow. You need to go in there, watch those videos. Do not just skip through because then if you didn't finish a part where they're like, surprise, I freaking hated this product. And you're like, oh my God, I loved it too. You look like a dummy. So watch the video, give them their due. Go in the comments and just be like, oh my God. Okay, so for instance, Manny did his launch for his strawberry dream collection. And I waited until he ordered it and I went on there and I watched it and I told him the things that I liked and that I can't wait until I get it in the mail so I can review it on my channel because I think it's such a beautiful palette and which by the way, it is a beautiful palette. I received it a while ago. I have it on my channel, but so I wasn't lying and I was being honest. Do you know how many subscribers I got from that? Four different people commented on my on my comment 
four different people subscribe to me. It tells me who subscribes to me. So those four people subscribe to me. I'm telling you, be social. Network, start up a Snapchat, start up a Twitter. Literally, I have like 157 followers on Twitter, okay? I don't have a lot, but those are platforms that you can share your YouTube link with, your Facebook, and don't be embarrassed, I get it. Your friends are on your Facebook, your coworkers, your family, who cares? Who cares? If you want this to work, give it your all. So build your Instagram, build your Facebook, build your Twitter, continue to build more than just YouTube because the problem is a lot of people think if they just do a YouTube video and they put some tags in there that YouTube is gonna magically push their content out. You're gonna get lost in the crowd. You have to start building social platforms everywhere and really get in there. So if you guys want a more detailed video of how I do certain aspects of my social media, whether it be Instagram, whether it be Twitter, whether it be networking or filming and editing, whatever it is, comment below. If you really like this video, also give it a thumbs up because that helps me out. But comment below and let me know the content of these kind of videos that you wanna see because I'm more than willing to share with you the tips and tricks that I have learned along the way, the bumps that I've had to deal with along the way to kind of lessen them for you if I can. I hope that this video helped you guys and I really hope that it gave you some information and some guidance on how to get your channel monetized here on YouTube. Again, if you need more detailed help, I am so willing to help you. Comment below, I will respond to your comments as quick as possible. And as always guys, I love you and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.